Okay, let's go. Yeah. It's a new day here on Fortuna. We have not yet decided what we're going to do as things are changing every day. So we decided for today we're going to clean the boat and then let's see what happens. Yes, you just saw right after weeks and over a month now that we were stuck in Ziggy before lockdown even of course <laughs> we finally are leaving Ziggy and heading to Lachi so what happened between Ziggy and Lachi we're actually not going to cover in this video but you can go and look at the Stranded at Sea video that we posted about two weeks ago I will put a card here somewhere <laughs> So instead of uh, telling the whole story again, we're going to jump over this uh, misadventure that we had with uh, yeah, the Coast Guard and not being able to enter port and our yeah, having water in the boat and everything else. You can find that in that video. And now we're going to jump into Lachi and we will tell you how it was to stay two weeks in quarantine on a small boat with no abilities to go anywhere. What? As you might remember, we were only allowed to enter Lachi after calling up Pan Pan because water had entered our boat. Quite some water had entered the boat, it went to our batteries, it went to our motor, so the situation was pretty critical. So we used our uh, water pump, refunctioned it and tried to pump all the water out of the boat. Let's go. Shut down. Yeah. Show. Huh? Yeah, langsam. Yeah. It 
was no easy day. The police and Coast Guard came multiple times to check on us and to see if we were already ready to leave again. And uh, yeah, we just spent the whole day trying to get out the water of the boat and to understand where the water actually came from. We also spent some hours on the phone with different sailing friends and a special thanks to Andrea and Lucas from uh, Sailing Girasole who helped us figure out that it might be the vacuum valve that caused the water to enter. So the water valve is dripping, so we take off the cap and clean the, the valve inside to make sure that air is getting back in once the motor is switched off, so the whole pipe is uh, draining again. So that's the valve. the ceiling and we just check if there is some salt in between and clean it a bit there was some salt already in the lid so that might have stopped it and then we put it back together it worked so basically it was just a bit of salt crust on top and now the valve is working again properly so no water is coming out and once we switch off the machine air is getting back in to lower the water level. After spending a whole day in 40 knots of wind and 4 meter waves and being still unsure if we're allowed to stay here in Cyprus or we have to stay back to Italy, we decided it's the right moment to go on with our Atlantic preparations and get those goodies here installed so the next time we will be super secure. At this point in time it was still unclear how long we were able to stay in Lachi and uh, if they would kick us out again. Um, it was actually pretty concerning. Uh, each day we stood up and uh, yeah, did not know if that was our last day here in Lachi. So um, we tried to prepare as well as possible uh, for Tuna and also ourselves mentally for a nine day journey back to Italy because Italy was the only place that we were able to go as it was our home country and all other countries had already closed the borders because of COVID-19. But more about this in our next episode, next week. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I would recommend to not miss out on the next episode. It's, 
It is the funniest we had so far. At the end, uh, sometimes critical situations push you to enjoy your days even more. And even if we were confined to our small little boat, we had a lot of fun in those 14 weeks here in Lachi. So um, yeah, see you next week. And thank you so much for watching. As always, if you think we are worth it, please share with your friends.